What specific problem does the learned ranking function, LRF, aim to address in the context of video recommendation systems, and how does it differ from existing heuristic methods? The learned ranking function, LRF, aims to address the limitations of existing heuristic ranking methods in video recommendation systems, particularly in optimizing long-term user satisfaction while considering the value of user abandonment. Unlike traditional systems that utilize a heuristic ranking function, optimized through hyperparameter search methods, which can become complex and inflexible with multiple objectives, the LRF formulates the problem as slate optimization. This approach allows for a more dynamic and stable multi-objective optimization by explicitly modeling user slate interactions and the abandonment value, thus maximizing cumulative rewards across various objectives. Additionally, the LRF employs a constrained optimization algorithm based on dynamic linear scalarization, ensuring consistent trade-offs among objectives even when changes are made to the algorithm. This results in improved performance metrics and stability compared to the previous heuristic methods. How does the proposed learned ranking function, LRF, work? Illustrate the method step by step, including the formulation of the Markov decision process, MDP, and the optimization algorithm used. The learned ranking function, LRF, operates through a structured approach that begins with modeling the user slate interaction as a Markov decision process, MDP. The state space S consists of user states U and a subset of candidate videos V, while the action space A includes all permutations of these candidates. The goal is to maximize cumulative rewards through a policy pi that maps states to actions, optimizing for a primary objective while adhering to constraints on secondary objectives. The optimization algorithm employed is an on-policy Monte Carlo method, which involves two main steps training and inference. During training, the algorithm builds function approximations for various reward components, such as R underscore Abid, abandonment reward, and R underscore CLK, click reward using user trajectory data. In the inference phase, the policy is updated to maximize the expected cumulative reward, Q caret, pi S sigma, based on the learned approximations. Additionally, the LRF incorporates a dynamic linear scalarization approach for multi-objective optimization, allowing for the weights of secondary objectives to be adjusted during training, thus enhancing the stability of trade-offs. This comprehensive framework enables the LRF to effectively rank videos by maximizing long-term user satisfaction while considering the complexities of user interactions and multiple objectives. Can you provide a simple illustrative example demonstrating the inner workings of the LRF algorithm, particularly in terms of how it ranks candidate videos based on predicted user behaviors? The Learned Ranking Function LRF algorithm ranks candidate videos by utilizing a combination of predicted user behaviors, specifically the click-through rate, center, and the lift value associated with each video. For instance, consider a user with a set of candidate videos, V equals V caret 1, V squared, V cubed. The LRF first calculates the probabilities of clicking and abandoning each video, denoted as P underscore CLK UV and P underscore Abid UV, respectively. It then computes the lift value, R caret pi underscore lift U V caret I equals R underscore CLK caret pi U V caret I r caret pi underscore abid u for each video, which represents the incremental reward of clicking a video compared to abandoning the slate. Finally, the algorithm ranks the videos by the formula, frac p underscore clk u v, p underscore clk u v, plus p underscore abid u v, c d o t r caret pi underscore lift u v, ensuring that videos with higher predicted engagement and lift are prioritized in the ranking. This process allows the LRF to optimize for long-term user satisfaction effectively. What are the theoretical and practical advantages of the LRF over traditional ranking methods in recommendation systems, especially regarding long-term user satisfaction? The Learned Ranking Function, LRF, 
offers several theoretical and practical advantages over traditional ranking methods in recommendation systems, particularly in enhancing long-term user satisfaction. Theoretically, LRF models user slate interactions using a click model that accounts for the abandonment value, allowing for the optimization of slate-wise long-term rewards rather than relying on heuristic ranking functions that may overlook future user engagement. Practically, LRF employs a dynamic linear scalarization approach for multi-objective optimization, ensuring stability in trade-offs among various objectives, which is crucial for system reliability and developer velocity. The empirical results from its deployment on YouTube demonstrate that LRF outperformed previous heuristic methods by 0.21% and improved further with the addition of a click model, indicating its effectiveness in maximizing user satisfaction. Additionally, the LRF's ability to adaptively update weights for secondary objectives during training enhances its responsiveness to changes in user behavior, further solidifying its advantage over static traditional methods. How was the LRF method validated in the paper? Describe the experimental design, datasets utilized, and metrics that were employed to measure its performance. The LRF method was validated through A-B experiments conducted over a week on YouTube, comparing its performance against the previous heuristic ranking system. The experimental design involved launching a simplified version of the LRF that utilized center predictions and ranked candidates based on the product of center and lift, with fixed weights for secondary objectives. The datasets used included user trajectories collected from recent interactions, which provided insights into user behavior and satisfaction. Performance metrics focused on long-term cumulative user satisfaction, with specific improvements measured in percentage terms, such as a 0.21% increase in the primary metric after the initial deployment and a 0.66% improvement following the introduction of the click model. Additionally, the stability of trade-offs between primary and secondary objectives was assessed, revealing a significant reduction in fluctuations post-launch of the constraint optimization. What specific results were reported after implementing the LRF on YouTube, and how do these results compare against the previous heuristic ranking function? What limitations or drawbacks did the authors identify in their approach? After implementing the Learned Ranking Function, LRF, on YouTube, the system outperformed the previous heuristic ranking function, which was optimized using Bayesian optimization by 0.21% with a 95% confidence interval of 0.04038. Following this, the addition of the click model improved performance further, yielding a 0. 66% increase with a 95% confidence interval of 0. 60, 0 0.72. The authors identified limitations in their approach, particularly regarding the stability of trade-offs between primary and secondary objectives when using fixed weights for reward combination. They noted that pre-launch, changes in secondary objectives could fluctuate by 13, 15%, while post-launch this fluctuation reduced to 1. 46%, indicating improved stability. Additionally, an experiment that set the abandonment reward to zero regressed top-line metrics by zero. 46%, highlighting the necessity of the lift formulation in their model. 